Poorly designed technology is something that most of us can relate to. We can all think of an example of poorly designed technology in everyday life. Although we don't think about it too often, it would be nice if some poorly designed products that have been released were thought out a little better, or at least improved upon. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 serious design flaws in everyday products. Twenty-five. Touchscreens in cars. This doesn't mean that all touchscreens are bad. The problem is that in some newer cars, the touchscreens control almost everything, including the air conditioning and radio. Why is that bad? Because the physical buttons were easy to use while keeping your eyes on the road. Putting everything on a touchscreen can be dangerous and distracting. Twenty-four. The button on top of baseball caps. It serves no purpose, it hurts when you bump your head, and it makes wearing headphones harder. 23. Sticker glue that is stronger than the sticker paper. This is especially annoying when you buy someone a gift on the way to their house. Now you either have to leave the sticker on, hide the price with a marker, or risk ripping it off and leaving a sticky mess. 22. Lamps that have the switch on the cord instead of the base. So whenever you try to turn the lamp on in the dark, you have to fumble around with the cord. 21. Blinds that have a cord on each side. Why would anyone ever want to only pull up one side of the blinds? Just have one cord that pulls the blinds up in their entirety so you don't have to struggle with two cords at once. 20. Toothbrushes that you can't put down. Toothbrushes have become so advanced that some of them even have mini computers embedded in the handle. But you want to put the toothbrush down on its back? <laughs> Good luck. 19. No pockets on women's pants. Or even worse, fake pockets. 18. The line left by the dustpan. Apparently they fixed this problem by inventing something else. The vacuum cleaner. 17. Wine glasses. Even though they hold expensive liquid that stains very easily, wine glasses were designed with an elevated center of gravity, a small base, and a very fragile midsection. This makes spills much more likely. How did nobody realize this beforehand? Look, wine lovers will argue that the shape and size of the glass greatly influences taste. On the other hand, scientists will argue that everything influences taste, including perceptions about the glass shape. At least the glasses could be made out of a sturdier material. 16. Rectangular shopping baskets with the handle crossing the width. This means that you either have to twist your arm or hold the basket away from your body. It would make much more sense to have the handle go lengthwise. Then you could actually hold the basket normally. 15. Faucets that don't extend far enough. So then your hands end up touching the back of the sink, and you have to bend your wrist weird ways to get all the soap off. 14. Motion sensors on hand sanitizer pumps. This goes for soap dispensers too. You only touch the dispenser before actually sanitizing or scrubbing your hands. It would be better to put a motion sensor on the door so that you don't have to touch the handle when you're walking out of the bathroom, or require all bathroom doors to open outwards. 13. Glass ketchup bottles. Actually, glass anything. How are you supposed to squeeze out the last drops? 12. Location of the steering wheel in cars. In the UK, the driver's seat is on the right. In the US, it's on the left. Neither is where it should be, in the middle. Having the driver's seat in the middle would drastically decrease the likelihood of people having blind spots on the road. The McLaren F1 actually fixed this. You steer from the middle with one passenger on each side. The catch? It's probably out of most of our price range. 11. Stove tops that don't give exact temperatures. Instead, they just have numbers. So, do you want to cook that broccoli on temperature 5 or temperature 6? As a note, changing the knobs to give degrees wouldn't work for obvious reasons. 
how long the food has been on the stove, type of pan, etc. But a thermometer of some sort would be useful. 10. Stickers on fruits. Even Tony Fidel, a lead designer at Apple, noted that these stickers unnecessarily added one step to the fruit eating process. Why can't the stickers go on the stem instead of the body? 9. Western Toilets Human beings are actually designed to poop in a squatting position. This is why some experts suggest pooping with your feet on a stool. 8. Video controls that cover the captions. You try to rewind the video so that you can reread the subtitles, but the DVD, Blu-ray, YouTube controls cover all the words. 7. Unselect buttons on elevators. Poor design examples include things that don't exist, and this is a classic case. Unfortunately, the vast majority of elevators lack this ability. 6. Tide Pods To adults, they look cool, but to kids, they look like candy, and that's not healthy for the kids. 5. Nail Clippers What's wrong with nail clippers, you ask? They send your nails flying everywhere. Apparently, there are some nail clippers that attempt to contain the mess, but they can be hard to clean. 4. The spacebar being right next to the period on some keyboards. It makes typing really annoying. 3. Micro USB ports. They pop out all the time, and with just a little nudge on the wire, the port can break. USB-C tries to fix these issues, but unfortunately, it's taking some time to catch on. 2. US banknotes all being the same size. One of the most classic design flaw examples. This makes it impossible for blind people to differentiate them. In fact, many countries have different size banknotes, or even braille. 1. Toilet flushing handles. You have to flush 99.99999% of mechanical toilets with your hand. Why can't they all have foot pedals to flush? Look, public toilets quite often have automatic flush sensors, but these activate quite easily, often while you're still sitting. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here, or just head to our website at list25.com.